Hey everyone, it's Heath from Homes on Wheels and we are back out here with another free home tour. We are out here touring the Sardis made by Winston Homes and today we are at Minton Homes in Oxford, Alabama and if you're new to the channel just be aware we do not have any affiliations with the sales of these homes. We don't work for a manufacturer or anything like that. We just enjoy touring homes. So with that let's go in and take a tour. And if you're new to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe and the like button if you would like to have more free home tours. We don't charge anything for it. It's just a hobby of ours and we have a lot of fun doing it. And we get to show you guys some really cool homes while we're having fun. So this is the living room area and you walk in and man, this thing is big. You can tell probably by the echo. <laughs> And of course they're setting it up, so you're gonna see some unfinished stuff right there. Uh, but, you know, when they get you set up at home, when you buy this thing, if you buy it, uh, you would have all that finished out. So we're gonna take a look. I noticed something really cool. It's got the controls for the fan and everything right here by the door. So let's go in and take a look at the kitchen. And we're just going to walk in. This is an open floor plan. Some of you guys say you like it. Some people say you don't. To each his own, I guess. Be sure to drop a comment if you prefer an open floor plan or if you like one a little more closed up. So we'll come back to the kitchen. We're going to take a look at the pantry real fast. Right off of the kitchen. I love a big old pantry. Especially with COVID right now. You can stack all those supplies in there. All that rice and canned goods and stuff like that if you guys are like us you stocked up and you need a place to put it be just the right size to do it and this would be i guess the area where you put your kitchen table you got your two windows right there and we're gonna walk back in towards the kitchen you got your island there back towards your stove cabinets go all the way to the ceiling and we heard about it on one of our last videos. You guys like the cabinets that go all the way up. So this one has it. And you also mentioned, I saw, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, um, but they mentioned that they like windows that open in the kitchen. And this one has that as well. So of course the industrial style sink there. So let's go back and look at some of these bedrooms. Oh, but I didn't even mention the pan ceiling there. I think that's what that's called. I didn't, did y'all got, did y'all notice that when we come in? I didn't even notice it. And of course it's got the vents in the ceiling too there. All right, so now we're gonna go back towards the bedrooms. We're gonna check out all the, I guess the kids rooms or guest bedrooms as it were. We're gonna check all those out first. And as we walk back through this wide hallway, we see the first room to the right there is a bathroom. And the next room back is the laundry room. And that's a big old laundry room too. This is a pretty good sized house. And you got your back door right here off the laundry. So you can come right in after work if you need to and put your clothes right there in the washer. And so now we're gonna walk on back you kind of come to a wide area here and you got multiple bedrooms. You got one there, there, and there. And I guess this is the restroom for these three back bedrooms. Take a look in here. Got your shower tub combo there. Sinks, oh, sorry, <laughs> shower tub. Let's try that again. And we're gonna walk into the restroom for all the bedrooms in the back side of the house. You got your shower tub combo, got your cabinets for your towels right there, and got your natural lighting. So, and we're just gonna take a look at some of these bedrooms. And these bedrooms have the real sheetrock too, crown molding up there. I don't know if you can see that very well with this camera or not. And you got your decent sized little closet. And that closet kind of juts out there a little bit. So you get more space in there. All right, so let's go look at these other bedrooms real quick. 
like I say, this is a four bedroom house. So these are the, the three, I guess it would be guest rooms, kids rooms, office, whatever you want to do with it. And they're the, basically the same, it looks like. And you got your vent in the ceiling there. One thing I'm noticing too, looks like all the bedrooms have smoke detectors in the bedroom too. I really like that. If you had a fire, everybody would get notified. And this, uh, this one's just a little bit different. This one has a much bigger walk-in closet. Much bigger. So I guess if you have an older kid or something like that, that thing's got a bigger closet than I've got it at my house. So let's go back and take a look at the master bedroom real quick and see. We're going to do a little time warping action. We're going to scooch back here. All right, and here is the master bedroom. And again, they're still setting it up. So, oh, big old master bedroom. And it's got sheetrock all throughout this house. And the vents in the ceiling. Of course, and you got your fire uh, or smoke detector there too. And look, you can see that big tub right as you come in over that big old window. Nah, that's pretty cool. This is a big old bathroom. And you got your cabinets and your sinks. You got dual sinks there, which is a must for most of us. And then there is the shower. And here's your uh, commode closet. And this one's a whole lot bigger than most of them. And it's got a window that opens there. A lot bigger than a lot of them. And we're just gonna go ahead and step in the shower while we're here. And it's got the one like Brandon likes that comes straight down over you. So that'd be kind of cool. All right, so let's go in from here and check out this walk-in closet. Big old walk-in closet. Got your lighting, your can lighting, two can lights in here, and you've got your window for natural light too. So, and this is a, it's a big old closet, big old walk-in closet. Well guys, the big question of the day is how much is the Sardis, this four bedroom house? The base price as it's sitting right here, the model is 124,000, and you can get it customized all the way to 127. That's the time of filming and all that. If you got value out of this video, hit the like button, hit the share uh, button, help us out, drop us a comment, let us know what you like, what you don't like. And if you wanna watch another video with us, be sure to click in the upper right hand corner of the screen. We are headed somewhere right now